uh, I haven't shot a video on this, uh, but I've been working on some things dealing with getting my own grill, uh, buying one and actually getting it mounted onto a trailer. This is special to me because my granddaddy gave me the trailer. So it's something that I can keep. He's 86 years old. We just had a birthday party for him. So um, this is something that I can keep for years and years. I'm going to pass it down to my son. So it's like a family heirloom. So I'm grateful for that. He gave it to me. I'm going to make sure that it's, it's, it's all the way right and what it needs to be. But long story short, he came up here also with me and helped me pick out the grill to put on the trailer. So now I'm here to check out, you know, the trailer and just let the guy know that, hey, you know, let's see what's going on with it. So I got you guys with me. We're going to check this out. We're going to see the whole build, all right? Trailer right here. Six foot, six and a half by six foot trailer. Ain't got no wood on it. How y'all brother? How the brother? Where the old man at? I can hear at the house right now. That's the trailer right there. You feel me? Gotta pop the sand it down. Gotta redo the lights on it. I'm just trying to help balance your weight. Right. So you can get it, put it, put that grill in the side. Oh, talking about this way? Yeah. It's up to you. I'm just making a suggestion. Right, right. Give me a jack stand. Please. All right, all right. So, cause if we put it up there, it's gonna be it's gonna be too heavy that way. Yeah. Uh, Even with a stand. Well, so you put a jack on it. You um, it, 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 I gotta do other, um, whole bunch of other little. All right, all right. Stuff to get it where the where the work rack and all them. All right, I see the sand. I see the sand. In the front, all the way up front. Y'all see what you're saying now? And you saying that's because it's got you got that galvanized on it. Well, I can put some. It's gonna take a little. Uh, Take a look what's coming. If you put that thing here, okay, either way you go, the thing gonna come right here. Right. Got a little work and everything right there, but if you put it, that grill right here. Right. It'll like balance your weight off. Right, 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 right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Balance your weight off and uh, uh, then go from there. Right. And where you gonna come out this far, you gonna come out this far. How far we got it? How, when we measured, how far or why was it? I think it was. I, I, I'm on that one. Uh, Take me in the door. Yo, come on, three feet. I looked at it yesterday. Three feet? That's <coughs> in the door of the truck though. That way it'll balance the weight out. It won't be all top heavy. It'll be even. Tongue, tongue heavy. Right, tongue heavy. It'll be it'll be even throughout. Mm -hmm. I see what you're saying. At, uh, two feet, two feet, four inches. Two feet, four inches. All right. Five three. Five three. All right. Two feet, four. All right. What sales now? I say put it in the head. Alright. Let's do that then.
Yo, 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 what up, what up? This your boy Jay, back with another one, Moment of Truth. So as you can see, we just left the, uh, left uh, getting the grill assembly to the trailer. Right now they're getting it welded on, taking care of that. Man, it's coming out wonderful. I just thank God, man. You know, he just, he always show up and show out, man. So I, I just appreciate that. Um, it was actually nice just coming up here, man. I actually like working with my hands, you know what I'm saying? And welding and stuff like that is something that I always just enjoy doing. I think when I catch some free time, whenever, I'm just going to come up here, man. Like I say, this is a pastor uh, of a church. He's actually, uh, we almost like family. We might as well say we are, like through marriage, though. And um, and I always just passed by, but I knew he was up here. And then, you know, my granddaddy introduced me, and I just felt real good just coming around church people. It's nothing like, man, coming around people that actually just love God. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, the, the atmosphere is good. You know, he's telling you good things. Uh, you can get some just good advice, man. So I think I'm gonna come back one day, just pop about the blue, and just come to work. You know, whatever he need me to do, help him around the shop, you know, clean up, whatever, whatever. Just you know, be of service, man. Uh, I just enjoy good people, man. I can just tell he going above and beyond to do what he doing for me. Um, so I appreciate that. Um, but uh, like I say, the grill's coming out good, man. He's he gonna have that done for me actually tomorrow. He said he's going to stay in and put in some work. You going to make sure it's great. He's going to add me a little table on. So I'm excited about it, man. And I just want to uh, touch bases with you guys. Again, it's uh, 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 Brother Water. He's located here in Tampa, Florida. He create grills. He can build it from the ground. If you've got something that needs to be mounted, you want some welding done, he's here on 34th Street in, like, Hillsboro. Uh, you can hit me up on any of my social media sites to get more information. If you're in the Tampa Bay area, you need something done, dealing with welding, you wanted something fixed, man, just give me a call, all right? But I'm out of here, man, headed to work, y'all. One love.